And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you yet another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. Um, in the last episode, obviously, we didn't really do much of anything but uh, escape the Undead Asylum. And I took you on a little tour of uh, the new Londo ruins, as well as a uh, path with the Master Key to take you into the back way to Blight Town. Now, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to level up. And I'm going to pump... I'm going to pump three levels into strength to start out. Because if I am to have any hope at all of wielding that dragon, that dragon sword, um, I believe you need 18 strength, I think. Could be wrong, could be more, but I'm almost positive it's 18 strength. I'm pretty sure I have the dexterity to use the bow once we get it. But we're going to head up this way now and... Head towards, um, Undeadburg. Ah, not good. Not good. Why am I missing? Ouch. Oh, he dropped something. What did he drop? Hollow warrior armor. Um, not really sure I want to wear that. I know. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I know there's a way to freaking lock on. Now, if there is an item down there, I'm pretty sure there's an item down there. Yes, there is. However, I'm also almost sure that once you get over there, you can't, um, I mean, I could be wrong. Am I being stupid? I could have swore there was a way to freaking run. Okay, give me a moment. Oh, there we go. It's press and hold B. Right, so I'm going to attempt, attempt to get over here. All right, there we go. I also have to attempt to get over there. Now, 
Now, if I die at this point, 500 souls isn't really that mu that many. Now, what is this? The Ring of Sacrifice. Whoop! Don't want to be doing that. Lose nothing upon death, but the ring breaks. Right. So it's handy. Um, it's like a one-time use type deal. Rather than dying and losing your souls, you keep them. But then the ring breaks. So... It is handy to use in some situations, I guess. But for the most part, you can, you know, get your shit back. Soul of the Lost Undead. Now there's a rat in here. Who fell through the floor, apparently. And welcome to the Undead Burg. I think RB is backstab, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but hey, it's a soul of a lost undead. Dead ahead. Yeah, okay. What did you drop, sir? Broken straight sword. Rubbish. Now, even though that says it's rubbish, it's really not. Um, that has something to do with the uh, bird nest. You can drop the rubbish in the bird nest when you go back to the undead asylum later on. I guess I want to go back up this way. Run all the way to the end. Humanity. Now, humanity is exactly what it says. It will restore your humanity, which will increase your life in Stanima Bar, but it will also leave you... It will leave you open to player invasions. I will probably end up playing most of the game without using humanity. Which some people might think that's very stupid of me to do, but, um, you know. just down here. That guy's gonna be a pain in the arse.
All right, I guess I went wrong. I gotta try and remember how to freaking backstab. I'm pretty sure it's, you gotta get behind him and then RB. I can't seem to do it. Don't think there's anything in any use in here. No, there is not. All right, so we want to go ahead and traverse the white light. Not for me, though. There's definitely no hope for me. All right, let me see if I can get over there. Oh, I failed that. All right, let's try it again. Failed it again. And again, I know there's a way to freaking get over there. Oh, all right. There's also a way to jump off the edge and kill yourself. I'm going to have to go all the way back to freaking uh, Firelink Shrine. What a pain in the arse. Right, and that guy fell off the edge. I know sometimes the rats will drop humanity. I'm not sure why a rat would drop humanity or why a rat would have humanity, but, um, yeah.
Alright, I'm not even gonna try to get over there this time. I wanna get up here. Holy shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's obviously the dragon that we, um, we get that sword from. But I completely forgot that the dragon came over here like that. I am like so close to death there. It was ridiculous. Oh my god. wooden shield. Now that's bound to be better than what we have. However, it's also going to be heavier. Not not too much heavier. the sun. Right, over here is the bonfire, so I'm going to go ahead and Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll rest. Even though it'll reset the enemies, that's fine. Now these guys are a pain in the ass, the guys with the friggin' spears and shields. Oh, jeez. Come on. Attack. Okay. This way, which will lead us to our first, um, well, I guess not our first one, but a our first proper merchant. Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> right, now he has the bow, which is important. Thousand souls. Now, can I use it?
Yes, I can. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. So wooden arrows do a little bit less damage, but they only cost three souls a piece. Standard arrows do about ten more damage than the wooden ones, and are ten a piece. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a hundred for now, and then um, thank you kindly. That'll <laughs> do it for my souls at the moment. So that way I can uh, switch my bow. In and out at will. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, right, you gotta... I forgot about that. Alrighty. So we want to be heading this way now. I want to get across here before that freaking guy... I believe that guy missed. Now I don't think my master key will unlock this gate. No, it won't. What'd you drop? More Hollow Warrior armor. Ah, oh, right, a chest. Ooh, black fire bombs. They're like fire bombs, but they're more powerful. A more powerful fire bomb. Try luring it out.
Now I got a humanity and I'm not sure where I got the humanity or why I got the humanity, but I did. Right, I'm gonna go up here first because I'm gonna take care of that freaking guy in the tower. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, freaking crap, man. Those firebomb guys are pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. All right, I'm going to get, I got freaking molested. So much for getting them souls back. I didn't have that many anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, excuse me, sir. Where did you come from? Come on. Okay, now those guys should not be a pain in the ass anymore.
Seriously, enough with the freaking firebombs. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a pine resin here. Gold pine? Yeah, gold pine resin. Uh, you can put that on your weapon, and it puts in a, it adds like an electrical property to your weapon. Why'd you close the door? Open the door. Come on, quit dancing. I didn't really want to trade. Now, if you're feeling brave, you can wander down there and um, attempt to get yourself a ring. If you feel like you want to take on a, a black knight. And actually, I think the ring is over here. Go over there and get it. However, as soon as you step down there, the Black Knight comes after you. So, it's all up to you, really, if you want to go down there and get it. I'm not feeling up to the challenge of... Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Oh, my God. But, yes, I wasn't feeling up to the challenge of going down there and dying, but I died anyway. Oh, I'd really like to at least get to the freaking Taurus Demon in this uh, episode, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Hollow Warrior's Waste Cloth. Well, I don't actually have to bother with those guys now, so... Okay, he says as he gets fucking molested. Alright, well... I'm going to end this episode here, guys, because uh, I'm not doing so well. 
But in the next episode, I will hopefully uh, get everything cleared up, and then uh, we'll move on from there. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Fail Dark Souls. But until then, guys, later.